Here are questions from application of derivatives and take it as a test paper. So in this set we have questions on absolute maximum minimum maximum minimum rate of change. So try to do these questions and they'll help you in this particular test which is on application of derivatives. So this question is on minimum light intensity. The amount of light intensity on a point is given by the function i of t equals to t square plus 2t plus 16 over t plus 2 where t is the time in seconds and t is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equals to 14. Determine the minimum intensity. Now I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now here we are already given a formula. So in this test paper what I have done is I have given you a sequence of questions one in which we have given you the formula, second we have nearly given you the relationship between two variables and we're trying to figure out a maximum minimum and then we'll have questions where you have to develop your own formula. So these are the, the ways in which we have organized this test paper and I hope that takes you through a process of learning which you'll appreciate. Now here the formula is given to us and also note that we have a boundary condition which is t is greater than equal to 0 and less than equals to 14. So when we have boundary condition we should use this boundary condition to find absolute maximum and minimum right. So this is additional information which I want to tell you so that it helps you in test paper. Now coming back to the question it says the amount of light intensity on a point is given by this function so let's write down the function here so intensity is a function of time they say and it is equals to t square plus 2t plus 16 over t plus 2 now where t is in seconds and has a boundary determine minimum intensity so minimum intensity is we have to find the derivative of this and then find critical points so our step is to find derivatives find critical points and then test the value of intensity at boundary condition plus at the critical points right now the critical points are the points where intensity is going to be either zero I mean the derivative of intensity is going to be either zero or infinite or undeterminate right sometimes we call those points as singular points either way those are critical points for us to test okay so derivative we'll use quotient rule here so we have t plus 2 in the denominator with square. Derivative of the first term here is 2t plus 2 times t plus 2 minus. So derivative of denominator is just 1 times t square plus 2t plus 16. Right? Now we can simplify this and then write down our answer. Correct? So we can simplify by expanding and then we'll factor. So okay. So it is like t plus 2. So we'll just multiply. Uh, 2t plus 2 is 2t square and this is plus 4t plus 2t plus 4 minus all this, right? So minus t square minus 2t minus 16 divided by t plus 2 whole square. Correct. Now when we simplify the numerator we got 2t square minus t square gives us t square and then 4t plus 2t is 60 and 60 minus 2t is 4t. So we got plus 4t here and as far as constants are concerned we have got plus 4 and minus 16 which leaves us with minus 12 divided by t plus 2 whole square. Right? And now this can be factored. Now product of two numbers we are looking for is minus 12 and this sum should be 4. So the numbers are 6 and 2, right? 6 has to be positive. So 6, t plus 6 and t minus 2. That is how the numerator is getting factored. And denominator is t plus 2 whole square. Now to find critical numbers, numerator should be 0 that will give us i dash t equals to 0 
and the denominator for singular points could be 0 which is t equals to minus 2. Since t is greater than 0 that is not in our domain right and even here t equals to minus 6 is not in our domain. So the only point here which is a critical number is t equals to 2 right. So from here we get a critical number. So we say t equals to 2 is for i dash t equals to 0 right that's the valid number. So we'll find the intensity of light at t equals to 2. That means i of 2. What is that equals to? Substitute 2 here and then find your answer. So we get 2 square plus 2 times 2 plus 16 over 2 plus 2. Right? So that is the value. You can use calculator, find it out. Or 4 plus 4 is, so we can use 16 plus 4 is 20. And 20 plus 4 is 24. Divided by 2 plus 2 is 4. That gives us 6. Now that is one value. This was I of 2. Right? Intensity when t was 2. Now let us check, check the intensity when t is 0 and 14. That is the boundary conditions. So if I put 0 here in this expression. So this is the expression which I am working on. So 0 is give me 16 on top. Right? Because this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, and 2 in the denominator, and that gives me 8. How about 14? So i of 14 is equals to, let's put 14 here. You get 14 squared plus 2 times 14 is 28 plus 16 over 14 plus 2 is 16, right? So we'll use calculator to find this answer. So we have 14 squared plus 28 plus 16 equals to 240 divided by 16 equals to 15. So we get here equals to 15. Now if you compare all these three values, the intensity at 2, at 0 and 14, you find this is minimum. Do you see that? Minimum. And therefore we have our answer right there. So determine the minimum intensity. It happens the minimum intensity is equals to 6, correct, is 6, when at t equals to 2 seconds. So that is our answer for the time being, okay. So that is how you are going to solve this question. Important thing here is apply the rule that if the function is continuous within the domain, right, so we have to also write here that within this domain of 0 to 14, this function is continuous. I think I should mention this. Note function i of t is continuous. When zero when t is between zero and fourteen, right? And therefore you can apply this algorithm, right? And therefore you can apply the algorithm. for absolute maximum minimum, right, for max min. So it is kind of very important when you do this question, these type of questions, then I, sh I missed this point initially, I should have said that, that this function is continuous within the given domain and therefore we can apply the algorithm of finding maximum and minimum. And the algorithm is that you need to find critical points which are when the function is zero or the function is undefined, normally we don't consider that, but in most of the books it is written like that. And it should be considered, right? Because when you have radical functions, then you can have maximum minimum at corners and cusp, right? So those are very important points to consider. Therefore, we say that when the function is continuous in the given domain, then maximum minimum, absolute value of maximum minimum can occur at either the boundary conditions or at the critical numbers and critical number is a number which makes derivative of the function zero or undefined right and then you continue what we did and get your answer i hope you learned from this thanks and all the best